Hello and welcome to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. Today I'm here with another LEGO Custom Legends of Zelda review, but instead of going for Twilight Princess like we did last time on the child timeline, we're going more towards the beginning of the adult timeline from the split off of Ocarina of Time, which would be the Wind Waker. So, let's get to it. And here is our first minifigure, Tingles. Tingles is a bit of a strange character. He thinks he's a fairy for some very odd reason. He talks weirdly and I think he gives you a chart in Wind Wake, I'm not sure. I haven't actually played the game yet, but what I have done is I created his little map out of a 2x4 flat plate tile, sticky label, and then off the warrior person spear from series mysterious minifigure packets I took a bit of the spear cut it off did some sticky labeling coloring in and we got tingles pen to write stuff down with and I made his balloon which detaches from his backpack which is two one by one flat plates and then like this one by one brick with two holes like one this side one down below but I covered that up and then we got his classic little red shorts his little goatee his watch his little fat belly his cap with ears but also I made a another backpack for him with out um the balloon so and also quickly here's the back pattern for tingle which is a cobra to scare away is a little close look at the face uh i got his face a tinsy bit wrong but i'm not so good at doing the faces and also um i used the skydiver's backpack sticky label blue some detail like pockets and stuff like that and that's uh, basically tingles and up second we have got the king of red lines which is the talking line ship um link rides on in the wind waker to go and rescue his sister errol and i have got this nice little turning thing so he can steer the boat we got the sail here we got the little lion face here and I would say approximately up to one to two minifigures could fit in the boat unless you wanted to put them on these sides here and that's basically the red lion king sorry I mean the king of red lions I keep getting the names wrong sometimes last but certainly not least we have got Toon Link I think that's what they call him at least, from the Wind Waker, with his little green cap, his little belt, and this little thing in his hand didn't represent it very well, with uh, that person's lightsaber that I've forgotten the name of. Um, she she was Count Dooku's apprentice in uh, the Clone Wars, and I got her lightsaber handle chopped a bit off, then... I got a bit of a, uh, well, spear thing again, sticky labels, and then this is like the Wind Waker thing which Link uses to uh, control the direction of the wind, so if, he, if the wind direction was going south, he'd just do a special song and it would make it go north, so yeah. And the last thing, if I can actually find it, 
Hello, I found what I was looking for, and it was the Wind Waker's Master Sword. But I took the uh, Silver Knight minifigures, the S Silver Knight minifigure from the Mysterious minifigure packet. I took his sword, extended it a bit with sticky labels, did the hilt, and then, and also, you can see now, Link in the King of Red Lions boat, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, oops, seems King of Red Lions needs a fix up, never mind, Paisies! Hey, King of Red Lions, are we nearly to our next destination? Patience, Link, patience, I say. Oh, hello, sirs. Would you like to buy a map? Remember to subscribe and also remember buy a map of Tingles in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker or HD Remake for the Wii U.